Hey everyone, welcome back to the Analytical Coding, your go-to channel for mastering Power BI. So in today's video, we are going to break down three powerful DAX filter functions, all, all except and all selected. So these are especially useful when we are working with totals, percentages or when we want to control filter behavior in our visuals. So let us get started. Before going to learn all function, let us see how a normal calculate function works without using filter. I am having total sales measure which calculates sum of total sales. Now when I add this measure into a table having the region column, now you can see this is getting recalculated for each region because we know that measures are dynamically calculated based on the filter context. right? So whenever we add this total sales into the table having the region column, this will get recalculated for each region. But what if I want to change that behavior? That means I need the total sales for all regions. But when I add that measure into this visual, that should not get changed or recalculated by the filter context of the region column. My requirement is I need the total sales that is this number for all the regions. I can do that using the all function. Let us see what all function is. So the all function removes any filter from the specified table or column, returning all the rows or values irrespective of any filter context. So this function is useful for clearing filters and creating calculations on all the rows in a table or all the values in the column. So coming to its syntax, it either takes a table name or it takes the column names. If a table is specified, so it removes any filter context on this table and calculates the expression considering the whole table without any filters. And similarly, if a column is specified, it removes filter context on that column. And if multiple columns are provided, then it removes all the filters on that specified columns in the table. And these column arguments should come from this same table. Now, these arguments to the all function must be either a reference to the base table or reference to the base columns. So we cannot use any table expressions or column expression inside the all function. Okay, so up to here we are clear about the all definition and its syntax and coming to what this function returns. So this function we cannot use it in the direct measure but it serves as an intermediate function that can be used to change the set of results. So over which the calculation is performed. So to clearly understand this let us see an example. Okay, so here I have created a measure. Okay, and this measure is calculating the total sales and along with that I have given a filter expression that is all of customer region. So what this function actually do? This all function removes any kind of filter context on this customer region. That means what happens? So let me add this measure into this table. So I have added. Now you can see we got our requirement done. That means we need this total value for each region instead of recalculating for each region. Right? So this all function will remove all the filter contexts on this region and returns the total sales for all the regions. Okay? Did you get my point? So when I filter this region in a slicer to the north, you can see that it is not getting changed even if I selected in the slicer. Okay, so this all function will calculate total sales for all the region and removes any filter context on the region either from this table or from the external slicer filters. Okay, this calculation can be useful in this scenario where we need the contribution of each region in the total sales. That means, so 
I need to know the contribution of north region in the total sales. How can I do that? So just divide the total sales with this all measure. So that is what the contribution of north in the total sales, right? So now let us see what all except function is. So this all except function removes all the filters on a table except the ones you specify in the columns arguments. So it is helpful when we want to retain a filter on one column while ignoring the rest. So coming to its syntax, unlike the all function which takes either a table name or column names, this all except function, it takes the table as the first argument and one or more columns that should retain their filter context. All the other columns in the table will have their filters removed. Okay, so let us see an example to understand this clearly. Okay, I have created all except example and you can see here this is again calculating the total sales and here you can see we have used this all except function that takes products table and products category as the column. Now this function will remove the filter context on this products table but it accepts the filter context in this category column. Now what is this mean right now let us see here in the products table we are having four columns right now let me add this brand column into this table add this all except measure okay now you can see that for each brand it is returning the total sales amount instead of the sales for that particular brand right that means we have given in this particular measure remove all the filter context on all the columns from the products except the category so it is giving the total sales even for the each brand right now let us remove this brand and add the product okay so when i add this product column you can again see there is no change in this all except measure it is calculating the total sales even for each product okay that means it is removing any filter context from this product column and calculating the total sales now let us see what happens with the category column okay because we have excluded that in this measure right so we have given category to exclude from the removing the filter context so when i add this category you can see that this all except measure is recalculated for category that means it is not removing the filter context that is getting from the category okay so that is what all except function is we need filter context from the category column but we do not want any filter context from all the other columns in the products so in that case we can use the all except function okay now let us see what is all selected function so this function removes filters from the specified table or column names within the visual but keeps the slicer selection and other external filters okay now coming to its syntax so again it is similar to that of all function it either takes a table name or the column names so this function returns all the rows or values that remain after slicer filters are applied but ignore filters from the visuals like table rows or matrix rows so let us see an example to understand this clearly okay so i have created a measure for all selected and this same one calculating the total sales and all selected function and i have given the region that means this all selected function will remove the filters from the region column only in this visual in which we add this measure but it will get filtered for any explicit filter let us see that clearly so i am going to add that particular measure into this visual i have added the region and added the all selected example okay and now you can see this all selected example is giving the total sales value even for the each region 
because we have told that in this measure that remove all the filter context from the customer region right so that is why it is removing all the filter context and giving the total sales inside this visual but when i apply the filter from the external filter that is this slicer so let me select north and you can see this all selected measure is giving the total sales only for the north region instead of giving the total sales for all region in case of all function you can see that it is calculating the total sales for all region removing any filter from the region inside the visual or external filters whereas this all selected measure is getting recalculated for the external filters but when we remove the external filters you can see that inside this visual it is giving the total sales even for the each region so that is what all selected function is the all function returns grand total and it ignores the any filter on the region either from the inside the visual or externally whereas all selected function returns the total for the selected region but ignores the row level filters right so this is perfect when we want to calculate percentage of total based on what is selected in the slicer so i hope this video helped you understand the differences between all all except and all selected so these functions are extremely powerful for creating dynamic measures and cleaner dashboards so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment if you have any doubts so see you in the next video thanks for watching